Okay, now that we have some basics, let's look at solving the triangle. Again, we're still doing right triangle trigonometry. So when I say solve the triangle, that just means we're going to find all the missing pieces. Okay, there's three angles and three sides in a triangle. So when we solve a triangle, and we do this a lot in trig, um, well, I'm going to have you set up on the side here. We're going to find angle A. Okay, we don't know that one. We do know angle B is 37 degrees, and we do know angle C is 90 degrees. Okay, and then we have to find the sides. So side A, oh, side A we know it's 250 centimeters. We're going to find side B. We don't know that one. We're going to find side C. So I just set it up like this so that I have a place to put my answers. And we are going to solve the triangle. Gosh, I wrote that huge. And use trig to do so. The easiest one to solve for first. Let me change colors again. The easiest one to solve for first is going to be angle A. The three angles of a triangle add up to 180. This one is a right triangle, so the two acute angles have to add up to 90. So if I just take 90 minus 37, okay, A is going to equal 90 minus 37, okay, and that's going to be 53 degrees, okay. Now, if we want to find the sides, this is where we're going to have to apply some trigonometry, okay? If we knew two of the sides, we could do the Pythagorean theorem, but we don't. We only know one side and we know the angles, so we have to use trigonometry. So let's say, let's go for side B first, just because B comes before C alphabetically, okay? So if we, we know angle B is 37. Let's label the triangle. Here is the opposite. Here is the adjacent. Here's the hypotenuse. All right. So I want to find, oh, wait, in my notes I did go for the hypotenuse first. Let's go for the hypotenuse first. Why not? Okay. So I want to do the hypotenuse. So I've got the adjacent, I need to find the hypotenuse, and that would be cosine. I have to use cosine because cosine uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So the cosine of 37 degrees is going to equal op, uh, blah, 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 adjacent, I'm sorry, which is 250, over the hypotenuse, which is C, because we don't know what that is. And at this point, we need to get C out of the denominator, so um, I usually just make it a proportion and cross multiply and divide. You could just multiply both sides by C, and that would get that out of there. So we've got C times the cosine of 37 equals 250, and then we're going to divide by the cosine of 37. And therefore, C is going to equal 313.0. I usually round to the nearest tenth, and this one rounds off pretty evenly. So this is about 313 centimeters. Okay. Now, with that, you could use the Pythagorean theorem at this point and solve for B. But since we're having fun with trig, I'm going to use trig. So now I know that this one is 313. You could use sine, you could use tangent, you could use, well, that's pretty much it. So take your pick. You could use the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to use sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I'm going to take the sine of 37 degrees, and that's going to equal B over 313, the one we just found. And then at this point, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 313. So 313 times the sine of 37, and I always write it in front, and I always put it in front when I'm using the calculator. So when you do that, you're going to get 188.4 equals B. Okay. Now, 
That's one way of solving the triangle. Another way we could solve the triangle would be, let me change colors again. Okay, so here's another triangle. Let's say this is 30 inches, this is 10 inches. It's not gonna be a Pythagorean triple, oh darn. Okay, so what do we know? Well, let's list off our answers. Angle A, we don't know that one. Angle B, oh darn, we don't know that one either. Angle C, well that's our right angle. Side A is 10. Side B, oh, we don't know that one. Side C is equal to 30. Okay, so when you're doing this solving the triangle stuff, they have to give you at least three pieces. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for one of those acute angles. Pick one. It doesn't matter which one, you just pick one. I'm going to go for angle A because A comes before B alphabetically. I'm very much not creative in that way. So I'm going to label my triangle opposite adjacent hypotenuse according to angle A. So here's the opposite, here's the adjacent, here's the hypotenuse. Now I know the opposite and the hypotenuse. So according to Sokotoa or whatever you want to call it, what are we going to use? Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so sine is what we're going to use. So I'm going to say the sine of angle A equals the opposite, which is 10, over the hypotenuse, which is 30. And this is where when you're solving for an angle, you have to do what's called the inverse sine. So on both sides of the equation, we're going to do sine inverse. These two cancel each other out, leaving you with just angle A equals the sine inverse of 10 over 30, which you can simplify to one third. So then I'm gonna grab my handy dandy calculator and I'm gonna do sine inverse of one divided by three or 10 over 30. And we're gonna get angle A is 19 point five degrees. Okay, at this point, we can find angle B because I know that A and B have to add up to 90. And so angle B is gonna be 70.5 degrees. And then we have to find side B and using angle A, you can use trig, you could use the Pythagorean theorem, whatever you choose to use, you're gonna get the same answer. I'm gonna use trig. So using trig, I know that angle A is 19.5, and I'm gonna use tangent because opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of 19.5 degrees is gonna equal 10 over side B, okay, multiply both sides by B. You're gonna have B tangent 19.5 equals 10, divide by the tangent of 19.5, and B will equal 28.3 inches, or whatever. All right, now that we've done that, what's the whole point to this? Well, the whole point to this is applications. Trigonometry is very useful for indirect measurement. Okay, sometimes you can do similar triangles, but trig is definitely used for finding the lengths of things a lot. Let's say we have this lake I'm going to say and draw some random lake. Okay, so there's a lake. And you are standing 
equal to one edge of the lake over here. That's you. And we're, oops, pretend that's straight line. <laughs> 750 yards, that's this distance right here. We want to know what this distance is right here across from the lake. Okay. Well, looky there. We've just made a right triangle. Okay. And we want to know that one. Okay. So we do know that this angle right here is 24 degrees. Since that angle is 24 degrees, we are going to use trig. This is going to be your opposite. This is your adjacent. Hypotenuse doesn't really matter, but this one's your hypotenuse. Okay. So using trig, I've got the I've got the adjacent. I want to find the opposite, so I'm going to use tangent. So the tangent of 24 degrees is going to equal the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, cross multiply or multiply both sides by 750, either way you want to look at it. X equals 750 times the tangent of 24 degrees, that's a degree. <laughs> and so 333.9 yards, okay. There's one application. Another application, and you probably did some stuff like this in geometry as well. Let's say we have a flagpole that's 14 meters tall. So here's a flagpole. Draw a flag on it. Don't laugh at my drawings. It's moving in the wind. Okay, this is 14 meters. It's going to cast a shadow that is 10 meters. So shadow, and it's 10 meters. I want to know what the angle of elevation of the sun is. So here's the sun. Should have done that in yellow. Oh well. I could highlight it in yellow. There's the sun. Smiling at you. <laughs> this is what we want to know. That's our angle. That's going to be your angle of elevation right there. So again, here's opposite. Here's the adjacent. Here's the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse doesn't really matter because we've got the opposite and the adjacent. Opposite and adjacent means we're going to use tangent again. So the tangent of theta is going to equal 14 over 10. And since we're finding an angle, we have to do the inverse, tangent inverse. These two cancel, leaving us with just theta, equaling tangent inverse of 14 over 10, then parentheses. Grab the trusty calculator, theta equals 54.5 degrees. That was a lot the three videos, whoa. Okay, you can do it.